My name is Bastian Leibe, and I want to give you a quick overview over my ERC starting grant project, uh, CV Super Computer Vision for Scene Understanding from a First-Person Perspective. So the overarching goal we're, we're trying to achieve here is to create the technological basis for performing dynamic scene understanding. More precisely, we're interested in the visual understanding of actions and interactions by people in busy public spaces. So we want to go out into the world and process video that is similar to what we humans see and get closer to the capabilities uh, that we humans use in our daily lives of analyzing and understanding this visual input. In particular, we are specifically interested in uh, interactions that affect future motion and to predict this kind of motion. And this is a very important capability in order to enable future applications uh, such as variable assistant devices, um, such as seeing aids for the blind, uh, future service robotics or intelligent vehicles. Now, if you look at specifically service robots, uh, this current state of the art is that here you, you perceive the scene, you see people as obstacles. They might be in different places at different times, but it's still a major challenge to go out with a robot into such a crowded environment and move through the crowd in a, busy, uh, in, in a socially acceptable manner where the robot anticipates people's motions. Similarly, if you want an assistant device to enable a blind person to walk through a crowd as you can see it in such a place like here. This is still a major technological challenge and we are working towards creating the technology uh, to enable such applications. So here we want to take computer vision and go out with it in, into the open. Um, look at the at video input that is similar to what a human sees and interpret the scenes that we're seeing there. So this involves uh, detecting people in the environment, uh, tracking them over time, estimating the motion and predicting how this motion will continue. In a sense, this is very similar to some of the research that Luc van Gogh has shown. Here, our, in our case, the difference is that we're not interested in aggregated traffic flows, but instead of analyzing what such a scene means for our own navigation decisions. But this also doesn't stop with looking at people. Um, if you look at busy outdoor settings, you will also observe a, a large number of other unknown objects that you might never have seen before, but which still affect people's motions such as here, a child stroller. Um, and we want to be able to detect such objects and analyze how people are interacting with them. Similarly, we are interested in how people are interacting amongst themselves, social behaviors that are expressed here. And all of those interactions and behaviors do not occur in isolation. They are always a factor of the environment. So we're also interested in analyzing the semantics of the environment. Now, let me highlight some of those uh, research challenges. Here in particular, for looking at unknown objects, we want to be able uh, to process such uh, video input, detect and track people, and then also to make sense of things that we may, may have never seen before, such as uh, a wheelchair here or, or this, uh, uh, the, the, the suitcase be able to recognize that there is an unknown object, analyze its 3D shape, compare it to things that we have similar, uh, we've seen before with similar motion patterns, and then interpret the scene. Also for known objects like people, we want to analyze whether their shape indicates that they might be carrying luggage that could also affect uh, their future motion. Once we have detected such objects, we are then interested in analyzing the interactions. So here, in such a case, uh, we want to be able to recognize that uh, this person is pulling uh, a suitcase 
there are different, uh, di different cases here. Th this guy is pulling f uh, with the left hand, and then it's switching to the right hand. I here in this case, we have a person pushing a child stroller. Those green bars indicate group interactions, where people are walking together and where the motions are also uh, affected by uh, the other motion of people in the group. And finally, when looking at the environment, we're interested in getting a better understanding of the semantics of all the input that we see, really at a pixel level. So here, for each pixel of this video, we want to understand whether this pixel shows road, sidewalk, buildings, vegetation, and so on, because those are regions that, uh, that affect what kinds of objects we can expect to see there, and how people may interact with those objects in those locations. So in our research, we're working towards putting all of those components together in order to create the technology to perform uh, dynamic scene understanding and create better motion prediction uh, and enable such future mobile applications. Thank you very much. <laughs>